Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Reading Test for fourth graders. Our concept is elements of poetry. This is part one. Remember fourth graders, the time to be awesome is now. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one or group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, the link will be in the description box so that you can sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. We have our fourth grade star math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you can get receive alerts for new videos we upload and also you can spread the word about hype math and reading. Thank you for your support. So let's talk about poetry. Poetry can tell a story, describe an object, or help readers to visualize in their minds pictures about a certain topic. It is a collection of words that express an emotion or idea, sometimes with a specific meaning, sound, or rhythm. So let's talk about the elements of poetry. One is rhyme, words that end with the same sound. For example, can and man, sigh and try. But remember fourth graders, Poems do not always rhyme. Second, we have rhythm, the musical quality or beat. Our example is pitter-patter, pitter-patter, listen to the rain. The pitter-patter part is the rhythm of the poem. Repetition, to repeat words, sounds, or phrases. Our example poem is Fall is pumpkins, fall is food, fall is leaves on me and you. Next, we have imagery, a vivid description using the five senses, which are see, feel, taste, hear, or smell. Our example is the cat's tongue felt like sandpaper on my cheek. Our next element of poetry is simile, comparing two things using the words like or as. For our example, we have the old dog is moving as slow as a snail. That is our simile, and if you notice that the word we're using to compare the dog and the snail is the word as. Next, we have metaphor, comparing two different things. Our example is, the garden, the garden of flowers were a rainbow of colors. Number seven is alliteration, repeating beginning sounds. Monkeys make major messes. So for our alliteration in our example, M is the repetition, is the sound that is repeated in the sentence. Number eight, we have onomatopoeia. Sounds like the noise or action. For our example, we have chirp, 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 went the baby birds. And that's the sound baby birds make, and it is in the poem. For number nine, we have personification makes a non-human thing seem human. For our example, we have, the cat rang the doorbell to come inside. Listen, if I saw a cat bell ring a door, a cat ring a doorbell, I think I would run. <laughs> Number 10 is free verse. Poetry that lacks a consistent rhyme scheme, metrical pattern, or musical form. So for our example, the fall comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbor and city. So let's look at our poem. It is Lengths of Time by Phyllis McGinley. 
Time is peculiar and hardly exact. Though minutes are minutes, you'll find for a fact, as the older you get and the bigger you grow, that time can hurry like this or plod, plod slow. Waiting for your dinner when you're hungry, down with the sniffles in your bed, notice how an hour crawls along and crawls along like a snail with his house upon his head. But when you are starting a game in the park, it's morning, it's noon, and suddenly it's dark. And hours like seconds rush blurring by, whoosh, like a plane in the sky. So let's look at our comprehension questions for lengths of time. The first one is, read line eight from the poem. The lack of spaces between the words creates a sense of A, mystery, B, feeling rushed, C, happiness, D, feeling surprised. So for line eight, it is hurry like this. And here is our hint that time can hurry like this or plod, plod slow. The lack of spaces between the words, do you think it's a mystery? That's A, B, feeling rushed, C, happiness, or D, feeling surprised. And when you think of hurry, that's kind of a context clue of what the answer is. It's B, feeling rushed. Let's look at number two. What is the message of this poem? Is it F, time moves at the same pace no matter what is happening? G, time seems to pass by more quickly in the morning than in the evening. H, the passage of time is usually noticed more by older people than by younger people. Or J, time seems to pass at different speeds depending on what we are doing. So let's look at our poem again, just so that we can answer this question. Time is peculiar and hardly exact. Though minutes are minutes, you'll find for a fact, as the older you get and the bigger you grow, that time can hurry like this or plod, plod slow. Waiting for your dinner when you're hungry, down with the sniffles in your bed, notice how an hour crawls along and crawls along like a snail with this house upon his head. But when you're starting a game in the park, it's morning, it's noon, and suddenly it's dark. And hours like seconds rushing by, what rush blurring by, whoosh, like a plane in the sky. So let's look at our answer choices again. Do we think it's F, time moves the same pace no matter what is happening? G, time seems to pass more quickly in the morning than in the evening? H, the passage of time is usually noticed more by older people than younger people. Or J, time seems to pass at different speeds depending on what we are doing. If you say J, you're absolutely correct. Based on the poem, if you're doing something fun, it seems like time passes quickly by. But if you're waiting on something, oh my goodness, it goes so slow like a snail. And that is it for our review of Elements of Poetry Part 1. Remember, if you need a math or reading tutor, the parents can click a link in the description box to sign up for a free 30-minute consultation. And we have our fourth grade star math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math and Reading. I will talk to you later.